Hi everyone, welcome to Live Darts and we've got a very special run up to the William Hill World Championships and we've got none other than the asset Paul Nicholson with us. Paul, you're back at Ali Pali for the first time since 2015. How does that feel? It feels great. Uh, I think it's uh, just desserts for a lot of uh, hard work I've put in over the course of the 12 months since the last championships. Uh, on the floor, obviously it hasn't been brilliant, but qualifiers for European, uh, European Tour events uh, really have helped me this year. I've got through a lot of those, got myself in the European Championships, which is brilliant. But uh, when I've been on the stage, I've actually felt all right. I um, obviously did well in Gibraltar, which was a good boost to the confidence. But I do understand that since the Europeans, I haven't had any competitive stuff. So once uh, I go home, I do have a lot of work to do. Uh, I've had a lot of stuff going on at home. Um, I've had some niggles with my wrists. So I've been looking after that a little bit, making sure that I'm fresh for practice. So I do understand that there's a lot of work to do when I get home. 2015, when you lost to Benito, you famously left the darts nice, neatly on the stage for everyone. Did you ever think you'd be back after that moment? There have been times, I'm not going to lie, uh, where I didn't think I would. I thought maybe it was a symbol of... You know, I put, I put them down because I, I wanted to get back there and pick them up and that would be the symbol of me getting back there. But there have been times over the last few years where I've thought maybe it's not going to happen. But ever since Gibraltar, and it was actually a couple of weeks before that in Milton Keynes where I had a couple of decent floor tournaments. I made a last 16, a last 32, and I played prop, proper darts. I, I beat Mensah Sulevic on the Saturday. That was the game that made me realise, do you know what, I can still do this. And I've done enough. Uh, I've had a half decent year, there's so much more I want to do um, and when I get on that stage it'll all come flooding back and I have stuff to put right that's for sure. Another game that springs to mind instantly, again the result didn't go your way but in Dortmund you were unlucky enough to draw the best player in, on the planet at the time but you pushed Michael to the absolute limit and he was very complimentary about the way you played and the way you'd rebuild your, rebuilt your game so that must a lot of heart as well, averaging 106 on most of that game against Michael. I know I can do it and the start of the game when the adrenaline's flowing, I've always been an adrenaline player and I've got to maintain that level of adrenaline. When it, when it does dip, I've got to find a way to bring it up. It's, I'm not going to go to the levels of, you know, go and price, but uh, I am the kind of player I realise now that I need that blood pumping to do the best that I possibly can. Uh, I do have the ability, all of the changes I've made with my grip and my rhythm um, over the course of this year, Hopefully I can work hard enough over the next few weeks to make sure that I can do those kind of things at Ali Pali. I've got a lot of fans out there, I know that, and I'm, I'm very appreciative of all of the lovely words that I've had. Uh, but I do understand that there are people out there that uh, maybe have watched darts for the last few years and don't know a great deal about my game. So I've got stuff to prove, and the biggest person I've got to prove it to is myself. So work hard. I'm going to be working with Josh Payne over the next few weeks. So we've got some work to do and I'm really looking forward to the challenge because getting on that stage, I do deserve it and can't wait to get the shades back on. Obviously, that burning desire from the player point of view is still there. We can see that and you've done some amazing media work with us here at Live Darts as well. Has that been difficult to juggle Paul Nicholson, the media guy and the asset, the darts player? This has been the most, <laughs> the busiest year of my life uh, because I've been working with you guys, I've been working on the European tour as a player, working with talk sport. Uh, you know, one of the events that I went to in Milton Keynes, which was probably my best weekend of the year, um, I was up till about four o'clock in the morning because of a fire alarm after the Premier League final. And then two hours later, I had to get a train to Milton Keynes to play in, a, in two qualifiers and play two pro tours. So I think I've spent half of this year on autopilot. It's been a difficult year juggling the two duties, but when I've got the dart shirt and I've got the dart in my hand, it's almost been an escape. And I can just do things at my own pace, whereas the media work, it's, it's very frantic, but it's something I love. And I've got a lot of people to thank. And I was going to save this for the World Championships, but people at TalkSport, you guys at Live Darts, everybody at the PDC and the media department, I've got a lot of people to thank for picking me off the floor and allowing me to get some confidence again because my confidence was shot two and a half years ago. I was pretty much going to walk away, but... The help from you guys, it's helped me to re-establish some confidence as a person and ultimately get myself back on the stage. Paul, no doubt it's going to be an absolute pleasure seeing you back on that stage at Ali Pali. We hope the world preparation goes really well and we can't wait to see you back on there, mate. Thanks for joining us. See you like always. Anytime. Cheers, buddy. Thank you.